Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video on um, transferring Polaroid photos onto wood. I've seen Polaroid transfers onto paper, but I've never seen it onto wood. Um, I have, however, seen printed, normal printed photos, like digital photos printed on just normal paper. Um, I've seen that transferred onto wood, and I, I really quite like the effect that it comes out with. So I thought I could try with Polaroids. I'm going to post some links to some other videos on Polaroid transfers onto paper just so that if you don't quite get how to do it from my video then you can watch those as well because they're probably a bit better than what my video is going to be just being honest. So this is actual Polaroid I'm not, I'm not talking about like Instax and stuff but that's basically the same thing and I'm sure it would work the same way um, so this is the Polaroid Spectra this was taken on this is actually really really blurry and I moved the camera while I took it so I'm just experimenting with a photo that didn't come out quite well because your first attempt is never going to be that good. Um, here's my first attempt. As you can see, it didn't turn out well at all. You can barely even see the image that was on it. Although it was, um, it was a failed photo anyway, so I didn't lose anything by doing that. Um, but these pieces of wood I picked up from my dad. Um, he makes like chainsaw sculptures and stuff like that out of wood. Um, and these are some offcuts that I spotted in his workshop and so I instantly got the idea to put Polaroid photos on it because it's just the right size it's got this wonderful like texture to it and the grain of the wood and everything it kind of leaks out all the way down it and um, you can kind of just stand them up like that with the photo on it I thought it would have been a good idea um, so yeah this is, this is just me experimenting really so the first thing you want to do is cut away the border Okay, so then you're left with that, which in theory you could just glue onto there like that, but then it's gonna over time it's gonna start to peel away like it already is doing here. Um, so what you want to do to do a proper transfer is peel away. This comes away quite easily. This is just the backing of it. Um, and there's all sorts of chemicals on this, so please take care, wash your hands afterwards, don't get it in your eyes, um, just take care, this is chemistry you're working with, remember. So just drop the image in, I'm going to do it face down, you want to take away the um, the kind of plastic, plasticky nylon um, front to it, but to do that you need to soak it in water. This is just warm water out the tap, it's not, it's not boiling water out the kettle. I think it probably works faster in warm water but also I don't freeze my hands while I'm working. Um, I've got a tiny little paintbrush. It's not perfect. You just want one where the bristles aren't going to come out of it basically. And it needs to be very very soft. This isn't, this isn't the best one but about this size. And you have to be really really gentle with this. I'm just going to let it soak for a little bit longer. So the image itself is actually transparent and that's why it's got this white background. Um, and the white background helps bring out all the colours and all this white stuff's going to float away. So you want your wood to be quite a light colour as well if you want to actually see any of the image. Once you get to the stage where you can kind of see the image coming through on the back of it, you don't really want to brush any more with the paintbrush, because after that stage you'll actually be scrubbing away the image itself. Um, you just want to wait until it starts peeling away from the, from the plastic. So I'm just starting to try and lift it off of the plastic that's on the front. Well, I don't think it's plastic, I think it's nylon, but I like to call it plastic, because that's what it looks like. Start on the corner is the easiest place. You can, you can be quite firm with it, but at the same time you have to be very, very gentle and just be patient. And then try and start to work along an edge as well. If you really have to force it off, then it's not ready to come off. 
It's really weird. It's actually a very slimy, slippery material, this photo. <laughs> See, all of a sudden it will just come straight off. And after this stage, the less time you keep it in the water, the better. Because it's going to start to deteriorate. deteriorate. Okay, you can get rid of the plastic, you don't need that anymore. Okay. So now, you're going to get going to want to get your bit of wood. If it's a flat piece of wood, you can use another tray like this. Um, but this is quite a big bit, so I need a bowl to put it in. Um, the less time you have the wood in the water, the better, because it's going to want to soak it all up, and then it will go mouldy once it, if it doesn't dry um, fast enough. So I'm going to put it in there for a second. I'm going to take this very quickly push the wood down and lay this over the top of it as soon as this is out of water it's going to want to shrivel up so just get your brush position it this is the, the trickiest part and plus the wood wants to float as well so every time you let go of it it ruins it patience is key with this That's probably as good as I'm going to get. Um, so it has stretched a little bit. And there's a couple of crinkles in it. And it's not very straight. But it's on. And I'm not going to rub it anymore because it's actually starting to come off. For the amount of time it's been in the water. Um, the trouble with wood is that it breathes and lets air bubbles out when it dries so you will get air bubbles in there but with your brush just very gently you can brush them to the edge and they'll, they'll burst out um, you need to get it, let this dry either outside if it's sunny and windy um, or inside if it's quite warm inside but ideally you want that to dry as quickly as possible so that the wood doesn't grow mouldy or anything like that it's not on perfectly straight, but I don't think it's worth trying to change it after all that. I don't really want to put it back in the water because it's going to start falling apart. Um, so I might, once it's dry, just cut the bottom edge straight to make it appear straight. But that actually came out a lot better than this one, um, for some reason. This is obviously this is a much darker photo and I think that's what's made the difference. Um, so I'm actually quite happy with that one. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, an important reminder, please remember to wash your hands immediately after doing this. Don't eat anything if you haven't washed your hands and don't rub your eyes. But apart from that, I'll be doing some more of these. I've got quite a few of these left to use. So if you want to see any more of those, you can follow my Facebook page, my Instagram page. Um, subscribe if you like. I'll have lots more videos like this. So hopefully I'll see you in another video.